Dude. There is a crap ton of money in there. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Abandoned Exploration Squad and today we have another abandoned vending machine to break into. We recently made a video on a different abandoned vending machine, which you guys might have seen. That video absolutely exploded. You guys loved it. We got tons of positive feedback and we found over $100. So when we got the opportunity to go to a different abandoned vending machine and see what's inside it, of course we're going to take it. And if you guys enjoy this kind of stuff, make sure to let me know down in the comments because we come across this kind of stuff all the time like abandoned vending machines, abandoned pay phones, abandoned safes, all kinds of stuff and if you guys like this we'll make more videos. And I know I've said this before but if you guys didn't know my dad is actually a demolition contractor so that's how we're able to get in these abandoned buildings and pretty much take whatever we want and do these videos. And what that means is whenever he gets a building signed over to him, everything that's left in these abandoned buildings now belongs to him and that's a big part of his business, the salvage part. Alright guys, this is my dad, he's the demolition guy and he's going to be the one breaking into this so He's going to explain how he's going to do it. Hey guys, how's it going? Last time we did this, we tried using a slide hammer, drilling into the lock with a screw and using a slide hammer to pull the lock. We're going to try that again. Hopefully it works on this one. It's a lot easier. If not, we'll try drilling the lock out like we did on the last one. This one looks like it might be hardened all the way around it, so I don't know if a drill bit will work on that or not. And if that doesn't work, we're not planning on saving this machine because it's so old and beat up looking. Then we're going to just cut through the side and cut the uh, screw that goes in that holds the door shut that's attached to this and we'll get right in it. So let's get started. Try to get it. Popped out. I don't know if it didn't want to. Broke it out of there. It didn't pop. Oh crap! What are we gonna do now? Are we in? That's it. Wow, that was quick. The other one took like ten minutes, and yeah, we had to one, go through like twenty drill bits. The other one had brass in it, so the screw was just stripping out in the middle. This one doesn't have the brass in the front, so it held tight. Probably an older lock, so it's a lot weaker. They must have changed them because people were getting in them too easily. All right, let's open it up. Well, you can have the iron. Got to like, unscrew this right now. Hey, we're in. All right, where's the money? Man, that thing's old. Where would the money go? Front door like the other one. Oh. Dude. There is a crap ton of money in there. Holy shit. No fucking way. Check this out. Come over here. Nice. Oh my god. Nice. Alright, can we just pull this whole thing out or? Let's see if I can grab all this. It's different than the other one. Yeah. Oh my god, look at that. It's gotta be at least like a hundred dollars right there. This is unbelievable. A little more. I can't believe they didn't empty this out. Oh my god. This keeps coming. Damn, we just hit the jackpot. Oh, I see some change in there too. Look right there. Oh, that's loaded to the top. Oh, grab that. Oh my god. Let me see. That's a good like 20 pounds of change right there. It's like halfway full, if you guys can't tell. Man, this is crazy. There's still like two quarters in the change slot right there, but we don't care about that right now. Is there any in the coin return or whatever? <clears throat> Can you get it open? Oh, this one's different. You pull the box out, right? That's 
where it goes in. It would be in the like this box, box okay. Oh, dude, it's loaded. Oh my god. What's that one? Tw no, quarters, nickels, dimes, and it's full of the top. As you can see, or almost full of the top. Yeah, this one's up to here. Oh, it actually says the amount, too. That's almost at 15 bucks. How does it? Yeah, look. It's so about, I'm going to say 14. That one's at, like, uh, that's all the way over the top. That's about $3. And uh, that one's at, like, I'm going to say $10. If you guys can read that. But, yeah, that is loaded to the top. Okay, let's let's actually count this up. I don't know how we're going to count all this change, but I'm going to say we got easily over $100 in ones right there. This looks like more than last time. Man, I can't believe they didn't empty this out before they abandoned the building. Who would just leave all this money in there? This building's probably been abandoned for three years, so nobody's touched this. And I can't believe they just left all this in there. Got oh my god. Old drinks. Yeah, those have probably been in there since before it closed. Wanna try one? They're probably expired, but... No, you can't. See, we got, uh, we got Coke. What's that? I'm not sure what that one is. It probably says on the front. Let's see. It's, uh, oh, they're all old and dusty, or at least the top is. Brisk iced tea. Got orange crush and Mountain Dew. And that's about it, I guess. Let's see. There was there was more drinks on the front, right? I guess they must have ran out of those before they closed. Okay, you ready to count some green, Jerry? Huh? All right, so I'm going to guess there's probably $100 in singles and then maybe... 50 and change, that is at least like a good 20 pounds of change right there, plus all the money inside there's still so 200, what do you say? Mm, I'm gonna guess 80. 80? Alright, how much in change? If you pick up like a handful, this is like... Probably oops. gotta be 50 bucks, no? Yeah, yeah. that's like 4 bucks in change right there. Yeah, there's, Probably I think it's right. mostly quarters. Alright, looks like I was wrong. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, and 3. Damn, I was right on the money. Let's check out the change. How much was in that last machine, you remember? Uh, like 110, a little bit more than this. Looks like more change here, though. Yeah, for sure. Plus all the change still inside there. Well, a lot of quarters, yeah. too, huh? The majority is quarters. Wow, that's that's probably more than 50, honestly. Yeah, I'd say it's probably close to 100, what do you think? Yeah, we'll probably take it to the bank, though, to get it counted up. Yeah. Man, what a nice payday. I'm going to say, what do you think, way over, probably over 200 total Yeah. for a couple sure. minutes of breaking this open. The other one took way longer. Yeah, this one was a lot easier. The old locks were easier. In the last video, you guys mentioned checking the chain to see if any of it's silver, and... We completely forgot to do that. We took it straight to the bank, but we're definitely going to do that this time. There is a lot more change, and I'm sure there's at least a few silver coins in there, so we'll check it for sure when we get home. Before we wrap this up, we're going to do a taste test really quick and see if this soda is actually still good. I'm guessing it's a few years expired, but we'll taste it, see how it tastes. Okay, which one are you doing? Uh, I'll take uh, Mountain Dew. So I'll do an orange. No Coke? I'll do orange and coke, you do that, right. and the other one. Oh, uh, I don't like... You can see, like, nobody bought that one, so... Alright, ready? Three. Wait, wipe it off. Nice. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of dust and crap. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. We got some juice to it. It's not terrible. It's alright. It's a little bit flat. Yeah. Still pretty good though. It's still drinkable. You gonna save them? Taking them home? We could. Okay, you get the iced tea. Uh, you want me to taste that? Mm -hmm. All right, take that. Wipe it off with your shoe or something. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this one. I don't know if it's just because it's older. This one's pretty good. Coke never goes bad. 
So we still save these. I mean, yeah. I don't know. They're pretty cheap at the store, so right. you guys can drink them. Hey guys, the only reason I could think that this thing is still full of money is that the business that was in here went into bankruptcy and got forced out by the owner. This business has been here for can't even count how many years. That's why this machine's so old. But this machine got left behind and a few other items that were sold off by our demolition company. All right, we're about to take our money and get out of here, but I want to give a quick shout out to my dad before we leave. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be able to do videos like this. Like, this is such a unique opportunity, and I really appreciate it. And he's just a great dad. Thank you. If you guys like this video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe, and we'll do some more. Also, leave a comment down below saying what video you want to see next, and make sure you have post notifications on so every time we post, you can get notified. And that's it. We'll see you in the next one. Squad out.